you always just gotta attack it when that uh, defend it. I think it's like people deluded i'm back again i hope everyone's doing well and safe i hope everyone's in good spirits as usual i hope you're all aggressively attacking this week and by the end of it you've moved that much closer to your goals hopes dreams and aspirations people please do me a favor and hit the like button now where arsenal's under 18s are concerned Leicester 2, Arsenal 1. Unfortunately, we lost people and it is a bitter pill to swallow. The positives for me are that, you know, regardless of the scoreline, you know, away from home, I think we did put ourselves about. I think Leicester, give credit, they're worthy winners. They deserved it. I feel if we was to scrutinise our performance like you would, you know, be the what like would be the case better yet at this level. I think we've handed the three points really and truly considering, you know, to be fair, there's no shame. 2-1, Leicester are having a good season as are we. I think at this moment in time, Leicester are second, we're third. I, I, it, something's telling me full in my first. I'm probably lying in that regards to you lot. But it's a big top of the table clash. And I've said it already. I'm a big fan of our under 18s and, and whatnot. And, and I'm a big fan of those who have been able to step up because other people have kicked on to 23s, you know, and things like that. I feel in the absence of, you know, the Amaris and the Paternos, Kion Edwards been in good form. James Sweet has been relishing it. You know, Bradley Ibrahim, when he's been fit and been available, has been quite good. I named a couple first. Well, I named the first year there, but you get the point. Either way, people have been standing up to be counted. And we have scored a lot of goals, but I also feel at this level we've conceded a lot of cheap goals. No biggie. This is what they need to work on. But um, yeah, like I said, I think I think we played well. We made a good start. I think self-inflicting errors would be the theme to describe the first. We've given that to Leicester. We're playing out from the back. You know, Remy Mitchell in goal probably loses his concentration and it results in eventually something that didn't need to happen a needless penalty conceded Pennant steps up, bags it, 1-0. This is how ruthless football is. We did well to get back into the game. Like I said, we played well. We moved, we moved the ball around well. I can't accuse any of any of our players of not standing up to be counted. Marcelo Flores gets us back into the game. It's a surging run involving a couple... Surging team move involving a couple of players down the left-hand side. I think Kwame has done quite well. Tino Kwame and on, on that regards, I'm pretty sure. Flores has pulled it in and we're back in with a shout. Now, obviously, the goal that was obviously the decisive one, the one that we conceded, it didn't need to happen really and truly. It's caught, you know, it's against the run of play. Our centre-halves aren't aware of where Chris Popoff is. To be fair, it's good movement from, from the Leicester lad. He steps up, stands up to be counted, ultimately scores what is the, is, is the you know, is the blow and subjects us to defeat. So, I think we didn't, We you know, the game could have gone either way. I did think we had chances we could have, should have bagged and on another day we should have. But you always got to look internally and where we're conceded, when we're, we where we are concerned better yet we can see the two cheap goals that were self-inflicted or better yet the second one maybe not so much but we could have been aware on that transition and this is what these young lads need to learn but it is what it is we move forward to the next game we're still what third in the table it's been a good campaign as I said without a number of of, of other players you know even Kido Taylor Hart who was a second year last year and stepped up to 23s again players have stood up to be counted and you know I can't lie I'm very impressed with how our under 18s have been coping with such and there's even a lot of them that ain't even got uh, too much minutes you know you look at Armani Richards you know we took him from Chelsea um, you know, he ain't had too many minutes probably in due to, you know, due to Kion Edwards' form. But I think his opportunity will, will come. I suppose a lot of these second years, you know, Charles Sango Jr., he's always involved. You know, a lot of them are trying to kick onto the 23s. A lot of them are chasing, you know... Pro deals again, you know. I know there are exceptions to the scholars, and it can be ex it can be extended. But football's got a harsh reality, and it's a sad thing to say. Not everyone's going to kick on to Arsenal, and some people I might not might struggle to find other clubs. So this is why I hope they keep playing well, because again, especially the ones chasing the contract, because football's about to get real for a lot of people very quickly. In in my opinion, as you would expect from sixteen to eighteen, you know, a lot of dreams sadly are going to be burst. Really, not everyone's going to be able to crack on to Arsenal. Certain people are going to have to leave. Certain people are not going to make the grade so you know we hope everyone can but hopefully they can have careers elsewhere if that's not the case and obviously I, I really like how Arsenal make a big song and dance about you know creating people first I don't want it to be the case for anyone but if they have to step away from football then they're can have positive contributions to society and football is is the be all and end all for people like me and, and I'm sure them no doubt but there's other avenues but uh, you know I digress people please make sure you're hitting the like button comment any opinions that you have appreciate you lot for listening on that note though I'm out <laughs> Thank you.
Spendy. I think it's like. DJ, DJ, DJ.